Here we are for my favourite part of the week. It's Backpage Blues Part 2, where we answer your questions. I'm still joined by Charlie the Hurricane Skillen from the Mail Online. I'm really pleased it's your favourite part of the week. It genuinely is. I love yeah, this, guys. Mine. Thank you so much. You get, your questions in, you get your questions in by the hundreds, and we really appreciate it. So please do keep them coming and be original. Any question that you want answered with a Chelsea twist, get them to us and we will try and answer them. Uh, we yeah. should probably make a start on that. Our first question is from Tarek Asef Alam, who essentially wants to know, does he think, do you think that we should leave Stamford Bridge uh, in order to leave a, leave a ground that is full of history to get a bigger ground and perhaps grow bigger? I mean, I don't know if there's a word stronger than no, but that. Without um, swear, it's, it's, there's <laughs> no, Definitely not, definitely no. not. Um, interesting, I've got some news on this. Uh, plans are underway, officially, to uh, redevelop Stamford Bridge. Brilliant news. Our architects have been brought in to, uh, to expand Stamford Bridge, or at least look at the opportunities of expanding Stamford Bridge to a kind of 55, 60,000 seat stadium. Which is about right. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, no, I, uh, Chelsea cannot leave Stamford Bridge. It's, it's the most unique area in the country. It's, it's one of the best stadiums in the country. It's, and all it, of the history it's, attached it's Chelsea's to it. Home. Stamford Bridge existed before Chelsea existed. And Chelsea only existed because Stamford Bridge was built. Stamford yeah. Bridge was a football ground that was built for Fulham. Yeah. They didn't want to move, so they had to find a, a football team to play there. So Chelsea moved in. Since then, all of the history, Chelsea the only London club to play in one stadium. Everyone yep. else has moved about, Chelsea yep, haven't. Right. Peter Osgood, our greatest ever player, arguably, our greatest ever player, is his ashes are buried underneath the penalty spot at the shed end. Mm -hmm. We can't leave. I mean, some people, they, they might not know these facts and think that Chelsea need to leave in order to redevelop. But I implore you to support Stamford Bridge. It is our home. It's who we are. It's our identity. And I would never support a club that didn't play at Stamford Bridge. It's too, it means too much to me. It's where I've gone since I was a child. Yep. And it would feel uncomfortable and wrong to go and see Chelsea play anywhere else. Um, I, 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 I'm non-negotiable on this one. I sometimes, <laughs> I sometimes try and understand other views and I try and explore why people might suggest other things, but I can't, I can't even have the conversation. I'd throw somebody <laughs> over, the, over, the, over the edge of the, the building rather than have that conversation. I can't stress enough, if you ask that again, this, this video is going to be 20 minutes long. Yeah, and I will go off on one again. I'm, so, I'm sorry for rambling nah, there, it's but right. it's something it's that right. we're very passionate about. Um, moving quickly on, uh, Mr. Max0145. Uh, I've, I've not met Mr. Max 0144 yet, so okay. I, I don't know about it. Well, him. he exists. Yeah, why, yeah. Why would you? Um, Mourinho's not got a Manager of the Month award this year, which seems ridiculous. What, what do you think about that? Look, it's obviously ridiculous. He's 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 he's, he's, one, he's the best manager in the in the league because he's won the he's won the trophy. It's ridiculous to, that he hasn't got it. There can't have been a month across the season where you win it where you haven't been the best yeah. manager. It's it's insane that he hasn't won it. But to, we know there's a campaign, we know there's a bit of an issue, we know that people in high ranking positions, particularly in the media, aren't big, aren't big fans of, uh, aren't big him, fans of um, Mourinho. It, but it doesn't bother me. I think the only thing that Mourinho would covet at the beginning of the season was the Premier League and he's got that. Yeah. Um, and I think that Manager of the Month awards that are issued by the FA. I <laughs> I do think it rankles with him, and I, I, I think it's quite right. It rankles rankle. with him because of the justice, the yeah. injustice. Yeah. I don't think you know. it rankles with him because he cares he hasn't no. got one on his mantelpiece. He's got a couple no. of European cups. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, well, exactly. I, I actually know someone on the panel, so it's someone who works for the Mail, who, who wrote, Laura Williamson wrote on uh, the, the other week about this. We, we've, we've covered this quite extensively, and we, we, we obviously, everyone in the Mail thinks it's ridiculous. But s slightly, you know, if, if you're on the panel, what, what you're looking at is is someone to kind of improve like so so last month for example Nigel Pearson got it because yeah. he's turned around Leicester's fortunes and whereas and she, she she did admit that it was wrong but you're kind of thinking oh Chelsea are always no, going to win look, so. I, I know I think Alan Pardew has done a wonderful job at Crystal Palace yeah, I think yeah, that totally. Tony Pulis has done a yeah. wonderful job at West Brom Germany <laughs> as we saw this week as we saw this week uh, but it, I think it's insane that yeah, in a, a, say, say for example and, and and you know what since he's been in England he's actually only had three He's only had three, and he, he's, he's won the title. He's yeah. got as many Manager of the Month awards as he has Premier League titles. There's clearly an issue. There's clearly yeah. an issue, but I don't think, considering the brilliant season that we've had, I don't think we should let it upset us. It's fine. I'm not losing any sleep. I'm not losing yeah. any sleep. Yeah. We've won, we've won two out of the three domestic trophies that were available to us. Yeah. So, not interested, really. Happy days. Happy days. Uh, next one. Um, I, that was my one. Did you notice the pause there? That was me. I just switched off, really. I'm um, sorry. That, that was Ginzy. The Ginzy boy's question is, uh, do you think that Oscar will leave 
uh, and be replaced by Griezmann. Sorry, I was, do you know I was thinking of something completely different? You know he does this for a living. <laughs> Kinsey boy, do you think that Oscar will leave and be replaced by Griezmann? You know what? I think that will happen. Um, Oscar is a player that I like and I've liked ever since he's been at Chelsea. He's also the top candidate, I think, to leave if we were going to get some serious money back. I'm not yeah. saying he's the top candidate to leave because we've got people like Petr Cech, we've got people mm. like John Edward McCall who, who, who will like, leave. But who we will, get who will leave, sums of Philip money, Luiz, yeah. but we're not going to get massive, massive amounts. Oscar is the one player that I can see leaving that, that is, we're going to get like 40 million from him. As we've said before, Griezmann, obviously, we've talked about before. I think he's probably the most likely player out of anyone to join Chelsea this summer. Right. And um, where do you think Oscar could end up? Uh, possibly Paris Saint-Germain, that's uh, maybe Juventus, a, a, a club foreign like shows. that. Yeah, foreign shores, definitely. Um, with Petr Cech, we possibly might not be able to control it. Chelsea are not going to be doing business with top English clubs. No. And top English clubs, you know, apart from possibly Man United or Man City, they're not going to money anyway. They're not going to have the money to afford him. And why you know, would he go there? He'd be a step down as well. Wouldn't yeah. He? When Chelsea is just not going to do business, selling. You know, I'm not slagging Oscar off. He's a great player. Um, but you wouldn't strengthen Arsenal, would you, for example? Yeah. No, you'd no, never, you'd never no. do that. Well, why would you do that? It'd be completely counterproductive. Exactly. Um, but I, I do think that I mean, you'd never, they'd never consider selling William. Um, so Oscar could, might be the odd man out, possibly, right. in, if, if that deal was to go. Yeah, ahead. William's come on strong lately. William's been on really good form. He's been, Big he's been brilliant. Yeah. Um, last question, uh, Kieran van der Waal. Um, we, we had a nice chat about our greatest Chelsea games, so we're going to take another trip down memory lane and uh, talk about what is your favourite ever Chelsea kit? My favourite ever Chelsea kit is with the red, you know, it had the red little flaps here. Oh, yeah. That was, uh, that was my... FA Cup 94. FA Cup, ni FA Cup 94. Yeah. It was, I've it actually was got a fully grown version of that that I sort of had to play five a side. That was a, that was a wonderful kit. Yeah, the FA Cup 94 kit with the little red flaps. Uh, yeah, I remember Mark Steen scoring an awful lot of goals wearing that shirt. Yeah. And it was one that I owned and wore religiously, actually. Mm. Yeah, was, that, was that your first ever kit? I, no, I think I had a Commodore one that had that was white and it had laces. It had oh, it had, yeah. it like had red laces. Top. Yeah, it had red laces that went through up here, which is also very nice. Uh, yeah. That was my first one, I think. But the one that I can remember wearing every single day on Paddington Wreck was <laughs> um, the one with the flaps, a blue kit with flaps, '94 FA yeah. Cup final. Yeah. Um, but more a, a nicer way to remember it when we did the double over Manchester United in '93, yeah. '94. That's um, right. That was the kit that was worn. That's right, and the uh, Cup Winners' Cup campaign from the following year. The Cup yes, winners. that was the one. John when we Spencer, beat Bruges, John Spencer running Austria in Vienna. Austria of Vienna. Yeah, if, you, if you guys, if you haven't seen it, I know that this, this, a lot of you will have seen this already. But if you haven't, immediately open a new tab and Google yeah. John Spencer uh, Austria rapid no Austria of Vienna, Austria Vienna again. John Spencer Austria of Vienna in the away leg. He runs a length of the pitch and scores, and there's about nine thousand Chelsea Brilliant. fans in Vienna. It's incredible. M that my, kit. <laughs> my first kit was. Uh, was that, uh, I think it was the season after that, and it's a really kind of famous one, because it always crops up in like the worst ever kit um, debates, is uh, the orange and grey one. Oh, with well, do, on you mean, do you mean tangerine and graphite? Tangerine and graphite, exactly. Tangerine and graphite. Exactly. I've, 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 I've still got that kit, and you know, that was a good kit. I don't think I'm fitting into it now. Um, that was a wonderful kit. But that, that, was the, that was the first ever kit that I bought, so that's always going to hold special memories for me. Dennis even, Wise looked even, a treat in yeah, that kit. I, I, you know, I find it amazing the Rude, Rude Hullet move, you know, really stylish kitchen from, from AC, AC Milan, Milan and yeah. Sampdoria. Yes. He's got a cool yeah, dreadlock. Absolutely. Swanning about the San Siro. And he, he, he actually made his debut against Gillingham in a friendly in that kit. What a man. What a man. Rudy. I mean. <laughs> yeah, that, that was they were some I, wonderful I, kits. I, I think some of my favourite ones, you know, before both of us were born, but the classic Chelsea kit is like the 1970, 1970 Cup, Cup final. final kit with the, with the uh, white stripe down the yeah. shorts. I also love, um, I also love, a yellow and blue one that we wore against yes. Wimbledon. Yes, Torre Andre Flo, that one. No, no, no. It's, uh, we wore it against Wimbledon in the semi-final of the 97 yes. Cup run. Yes, when against, Zola scored that yeah, goal. Oh, back here. Zola scored that, that, uh, the game at Highbury. That's a beautiful one. That kit just reminds me of my childhood. Success. It was a successful, yeah. that's when it turned. Yeah. Um, this has been this has been fun and nice little stroll down memory lane yeah. with the hurricane. <laughs> um, guys, make sure you get your questions in. I absolutely love this. I genuinely mean it when I say it's my favourite uh, moment of the week. <laughs> so please comment below. Get as many questions into us as you can, and we will do our best to answer as many of them as we can next week. Thank you very much, Tarek, Mr. Max, Kieran, and Ginzy Boy. Cheers for getting your questions in. Thank See you. See you next week. On you blues. <laughs>